Welcome to the Shellosphere. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, we're coming back at you with a new topic today. And that topic today is how much is damn? <laughs> My bad. Yeah. How much is too much information when dating? Is it on the first day or when dating in general? Doing a dating phase? I say date in the dating phase. Okay. I'm going to say in the dating phase because first date is the, the questions night anyway. So That's I, I say question. you can't count that because you're getting all, just about all the information that first night. You know y'all on the phone. It's about 3 a.m. People still have those type of conversations? Yeah. I, know, I do. I do. Oh, okay. I definitely do. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. I think we should just speak for us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do anyway. Because <laughs> I talk too much <laughs> when dating. So, you know, the, the crazy part is we were just talking about that. And literally you were saying, what, what were you saying? As far as on the first date? No, when we were just in the uh, kitchen, you were talking about that's why you don't... Uh, you know what? Just forget about it. Okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I thought we were talking about something else. No, because you was like, that's why I don't give too, that's why I don't talk, give that much information. And I was like, well, we can cool. No, I think we was we was talking about um having too many friends and not knowing where that information is going when you're talking to certain people. I thought that was a whole nother conversation on another mm-hmm. episode. No, no. I'm just saying basically, so if I'm dating two people. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if okay, I'm okay. dating two people, okay. am I telling each one of them that I'm talking to another person or dating another person? Um, I feel like if the, if the question <clears throat> arises, <laughs> I think if, if they ask you, I think you should be honest about the situation, just so you won't rob nobody of their um, freedom of choice. Mm-hmm. But you also don't want to tell them what the other person is doing. You want people to... Move how they would normally move without that type of pressure. Yeah, of course. You don't want to compare what the other person is doing. Yeah. But for me, uh, that's really a f- first night question. Are you talking to somebody else? You think so? so? I don't think. Yeah. Mm. Man, and especially if they're actually attracted to you. That's, they want to know that it through the door just for the competition probably. Mm. I don't know, Ooh. but I initially let let people know if I'm talking to somebody else. I think, uh, well, maybe this I'm me. I would think a person that. would ask that kind of once they feel like you a potential. Because when you're on the first, think about when you're on the first day, right? Y'all just now getting the information about each other, right? Mm-hmm. So if they really not feeling you like that, why do they care if you entertain as a body? So I think it's when that it's that that little spark here when they like, okay, she might be a potential. So let me just ask out of curiosity so I can know what position I'm really in and what I'm really up for. I don't know too many patient women like that. <laughs> they asking the really the first conversation. Mm. Some some women in um on Instagram, let's say right now. Okay. Uh, they come through with, are you single? So, But are you single or are you dating multiple people is, is that's two a different, different question. Things, but that's true. Mm-hmm. But it's not. It's the same thing, though. <laughs> it's, it's, seriously, it's the same thing for me. If, okay. I, if I'm, yes, I can be single, not dating. Yes, I can be single and dating. Yeah. But the thing is, am I communicating with another woman that I'm interested in? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, as far as am I dating, I think that's an easy yes or no. Yeah, I think that's I wouldn't have a problem with them asking me if I was dating anybody else because I'm gonna tell you anyway if okay. I am or if I'm not. So on this first date, doing y'all first conversation, what do you feel should be off limits doing y'all conversation that would be deemed as like too much information on the first date? Hmm. I mean, quite a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not trying to talk about sex on the first date. Me neither. I can talk if I'm talking to somebody, but I'm really that sex. That's not. That's not. That's not going to come into play to a little long down. Yeah. Um, I would say finances. 
Because mm. why for now? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But as you know, I can communicate that, c- communicate that also. Uh, mm. What else would I say? Off limits. Uh, I mean, just really personal, personal questions. I guess that's a little broad to say, though. Yeah, you know what it I'm saying. Is. So, so you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like this. I feel like you shouldn't talk about past relationships, right? Because I feel like if you give a woman too much information, she could just attempt to be, or she could, she could play out to be the opposite of mm-hmm. what you say it went wrong in your past relationships. Like, I don't, I don't mind saying that, you know, I think it, we should kind of like keep it at the surface of what happened in our past relationships. Like, we should leave out the details just to see. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> they could take that information and use it just to win you over. Mm-hmm. Just to mask. Because I've done it before. That's what I was about to ask. So, have yeah. you done that? Yeah. Of mm-hmm. course I've done it before. Mm-hmm. Not, not. Knowingly though, not consciously. I didn't consciously do that. Remember I told you I went through a stage in my life where I wanted to show up a certain way. I like new beginnings. I wanted to be, I wanted to get it right, right? I wanted to be a certain type of person, but I never invested in actually being that person. I feel you. Yeah. So it, it starts that way because of what I want to be and how I want to show up. So when you're hearing people conversations about, I mean, when you're hearing people's stories about their exes, it's like, okay. You try to be mindful and you try not to do those things. But are you really that person? Mm -hmm. I feel you. you. I feel you. I I definitely used to do that type of stuff. I don't really, I'm not a question asker. Mm. I allow them to ask the questions. I'm not, I I, I prefer to talk and learn through. And I know they be like, how do you do that? I mean, eventually the question is going to come, but you know, but uh, as far as uh, what you speaking on, Dating another person, I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with just saying that you are. I don't think that, I think that I put too much uh, trust into people initially. So mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want to give them too much and then they, they're they not the person that they claiming to be. Yeah. I could pick that out initially though. You mm-hmm. can tell when somebody is telling you what you want to hear. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So. We're not even gonna get to that stage, G. But what? Okay, so what if they're really like that, right? But they just—you know how some people just not smooth. Yeah. Oh, they have it perfected, like how they deliver certain things. But what if they actually mean it? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, cause some people approach in the way they say certain things. I'll be looking at them like, girl. <laughs> now you know, <laughs> you don't believe you, right? <laughs> but what if that's your own insecurities kicking in? Hmm. But if yeah. it's not them, how do you how do you truly gauge that? Because as much as I can sit here and say it's easy for me to tune into other people because of the work that I put in, sometimes I'm off though. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm misreading it. Sometimes I have unresolved things that I didn't even know I needed to address that might be interfering with my feelings when it comes to that person. True. I got you. I got you. Because we all our own worst critic, regardless of how much work you put in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so check it out. Okay. Besides whether or not you dating another dating dating other people, what else is too much information when dating to you? Um what's crazy is I love to go with the flow, like mm-hmm. how everything is feeling. So that'd be kind of hard. Cause you don't want to have like this list in your head mm-hmm. and the flow is beautiful, and then you pull back a little bit just to protect yourself in a sense. Um, I don't know. The deeply personal stuff, like family stuff, like you said, like finances. Because I had a young lady ask her, what do you do? How do you make money? It was the way she, yeah, it was the way she said it that made me kind of pull back a little bit. Like, you ain't my wife. Damn. (laughs) I feel like certain information is is for your wife. Hmm. I do. Like, why do you, okay, you see, I, I take care of myself. Mm-hmm. I got a roof over my head. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to put you in no, I ain't selling drugs. And if I was, I'm not going to tell you. You know what I mean? So I'm not scamming. <laughs> and if I was, I'm not going to tell you. So, like, why is that your business right now? Right now. Yeah. That that kind of that kind of threw me off. So, but you, okay. And then you saying wife, though. 
So she'll never, for the, for the three, four years y'all dating, she'll never know none of that. What I do? Any of the things you just said? Well, you, she, know, she knew what I did because of where she but knew me from. what if you were a scammer? <laughs> what did she know? I'm not going to tell you that. So, And you would marry her? No, 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 no. I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> if you my, if, okay, if you my fiance, then I'm letting you in a little bit more. I need you to know who you actually marrying mm-hmm. and what you're marrying into. So I think that's a different ball game from when we on the first date, you all in my finances. Mm-hmm. Now I'm I'm looking like now you look a little sketchy to me. Right, right. Okay. Well, okay. like what are your intentions, ma'am? Mm-hmm. Why are you ask me about money matters as if you my fiance? You you're not. Mm-hmm. So would you say I'm gonna pay for this bill? That's <laughs> Would you say it really just it, it matters the the approach the approach matters though? Yeah. Because you I, would you would answer the question. No. Okay. I didn't when she asked me. I looked at her like Because of her approach. Mm-hmm. If she asked you in a different way. What are you passionate approach. about? What are you into? Yeah. That, like That's that. a different ball game. But as soon as you said money, I was cut off. Mm-hmm. I was turned off by that. Mm-hmm. I don't mind discussing uh family. Not family issues. I have a problem That's with what the I family mean. issue yeah. thing. Uh, but some, most of the time I don't because it's like a, it's like my background. It's like a description of me of why I am certain the, the way I am some, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that makes sense. I really, yeah, I really don't mind giving that information. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, especially with family because I'm family oriented. Yeah. Period, and yeah. I just. I want you to know about my Major family. Part I want of who you, you to are, know, yeah. you know. So I don't mind that part either. Uh, too much information. I, don't, I think you would know in the midst of the conversation. Mm-hmm. So I would like I would like for a woman to understand my foundation as well, mm-hmm. like how I got from where I'm at. So I mean, to where I'm at. So let me ask you this though. I'm gonna see if I'm the only one to go through. This. Golly. So, I'm not dating right now. Okay. And I'm single. Okay. Let me tell you what what scares me a little bit. The type of conversations that people want to have. I'll always be in my head and be like, I wonder what we're about to talk about. <laughs> and if, because you know, I'll be also. <laughs> Mother Earth. <laughs> Some, sometimes. But like, what type of conversation with this? Like, how do you flow in the conversation? Gee, I feel like I never, I haven't dated Man. in like a decade. So if you think about my last, we've been knowing each other for how mm-hmm. long, and that's been, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. that's cool. But with the, like a new person, mm-hmm. fresh, new, mm-hmm. nobody we shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> Fresh new person. Mm-hmm. I'd be nervous. Like, how? How? What are we gonna talk about? Mm-hmm. I uh, recently I had met someone online uh, sometime last year. A cool mm-hmm. woman. I was so intimidated. Our initial conversations, girl. I didn't even know. Especially when she when she brought up the sex part, girl. I stumbled. Stumbled. Y'all first conversation. It wasn't the first. No, no, no. The first conversation. I'm saying once we got to that conversation, we were talking for a good two, three months. She's a real cool person, but I can I understand what you mean when you say like the initial. I I didn't know what to do either. I was, and that's what I told. I was like, you know, I haven't. I I was just engaged. I thought that was it. Mm -hmm. I ain't really got no questions for you. You can ask me what you want. I try to answer them, and I. It's like you like. Well, I thought you you're Nelsia from from the podcast, and I thought that you <laughs> be talking. You know what I'm saying? That's because we know each other. Mm-hmm. We already familiar with the vibes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. G. It's I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna even hold you. Like, it's a little scary. It is. It is. I mean, so so you scared to have have certain conversations? Um, can't trust people. I think. Cause of the cause cause of the stuff that I be on, I think that women automatically expect me to be on some uh, just come with it, and that and I I, I bounce off of energy. Mm-hmm. I don't just initiate like things come to me and then I say certain things. Mm-hmm. I'm a real 
in the flow type of person. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if they're waiting on me to flow, and then I'm waiting on them, mm-hmm. <laughs> we just going to be waiting on each other. For real. And you know, it get like that where you done, y'all done did so much talking. Yeah. Y'all just sitting on the phone now. Yeah. I don't see that. All right, I'm okay with that though. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like if we. But I was asked. I was on my back. I was asked, like, did we run out of conversation? Are you bored with me? And I was like, no. I mean, she. It is what it is. Right. Where we cool. We can see him we breathe can, a little bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because we're dating. Yeah. Technically, or yeah. we getting to know each other and get the, get familiar with my breathing too, motherfucker. I'm on <laughs> dead ass. This murmur. Yeah. Like I'm on. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah. So how have your your initial conversations been flowing with? Wait, are you open with telling people well, where you at status wise? I mean, I'm single. They yeah. know that. I'm I'm dating too. I'm okay. dating. I'm I'm uh I'm talking. Okay. Uh talking, I say that. Was it it's, a good flow? Yeah. Um just recently a great flow. Like it really it depends on the person. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And it is it's crazy if like sometimes, like let's say I'm, I'm not to, to get off of that one, but I flow with people like in the DM naturally. Right. If we exchange a number, it's it's different. Ain't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. I mean, flowing. It's like oh, now I gotta. This about to be a real time. Yeah, there's something else now. Mm-hmm. You know, so that stops me. But just recently, I had met someone, and the conversation was, yeah, yeah it was instant chemistry. Mm-hmm. Just off the conversation. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I, I didn't mind laughing and joking or telling telling embarrassing moments. Or it was it was a natural three four hour conversation without me forcing it or thinking like, okay, what should I say next? Next, and, yeah, ooh, you ever had when, the in between? When, when you, you like do, when I do that, that's when it's <laughs> over with. It's over with. It's <laughs> now I didn't stumbled and messed myself all the way up. Let me tell you what I, I can't do. Come back. I act like I'm in the middle of doing it. Hold on, my bad. And then I reach for that next <laughs> piece of the conversation. You just changed the subject? Or? I don't even change the subject. I might, I might, you know, I've been getting better at asking questions. No. Oh. Like my curiosity when it comes to life is just there. Mm-hmm. Um, understanding the complexities of women, because even though I'm a woman, I still struggle with the complexities of women. I'm a woman, been dating women most of my life, have sisters, and I still can't wrap my brain. Why you like them? Huh? Go ahead. Not why. Yeah. Yeah. But the complexities of a woman is... So the curiosity is always there to kind of like dig a little bit deeper Mm -hmm. um, into people's thoughts, Mm -hmm. like the depths of a person. But sometimes I ask questions that nobody ever asked them. So they never had to answer and think about and reach for us. So it'd be like, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. And I like when that's done to me too. Okay. 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 But I've also dated people that only dated people that look good on paper. So she get around me. at those questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she never really dated anybody with, with depth at all. And that was literally in the midst of deep dive, like deep diving, G, Mm -hmm. learning how to deep dive Mm -hmm. into conversations, into myself, into people. So that was, it was almost like she was only around me to build her personality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, Let's say body count when dating. You don't want to, you think, ooh, I'm not off to that. You're not off to I'm that? I'm not off to I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. You asked me about my body count doing. Mm-hmm. I think you might. What, what about you? I don't get no fuck. You don't care? No. Okay. Do, do it scare women, your body count? No, it don't. Have they ever judged you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not to your face. <laughs> not to my face. <laughs> no, I don't know. Not really. Just, you know, because everything counts for me. Okay. So that's why the, oh, yeah, everything yeah. counts for me. Yeah, yeah. You know, every everybody know I'm very typical. I'm not I'm not just going down. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's the Pokemon one I didn't got pick me up got me in tens. <laughs> so I was cool. Okay. So my count, my count consists of little things that don't really count. You enter their body knows your accounts. Well, 
Pokemon. That's like men saying, I know it ain't the same thing, but I'm about to make it the same for no reason. It is the same. I'm in, I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside. You're you right. You can't get a break. But it's still a bonding. Mm-hmm. It's a bonding moment mm-hmm. in some shape. You think form. it's the bonding with with the insertion or the bodies? What what you think bonds for the women? Okay, I'm saying like you entering their body, mm-hmm. you feeling their warmth, you're mm-hmm. in their body. You know your skin is the biggest organ on your body. Mm-hmm. So your body, flesh, yeah, on flesh, flesh on in flesh, in flesh. <laughs> 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 okay, so you okay with talking about body counts? Um, past relationships. Uh, I talk about past relationships. Mm-hmm. Um I I will answer, but I hate the why didn't it work out question. Mm. Um because at times it can feel like, and I, it's like you gotta, I'm not trying to downplay the situation, but this was this, and I, I am a very detailed person, you know, so yeah. uh I, I do give off too much information. I know mm-hmm. I do. Mm-hmm. I, I give it all. I don't care because you take it or leave it, baby. Okay, so the women that took it, do you feel like they used it to disguise their truth just to reel you in? No. You know, it, it never happened to you? Just like somebody just showed me that they wasn't who they were. Yeah, yeah, the Taurus. It was the Taurus. <laughs> It was uh, it was you didn't do that. <laughs> she did. She did. Yeah, that's true. That did happen, but that's one that I can think of off back. Okay, you know that sent me off. She sent me off. Yeah, she was somebody else. You, you mean you gave her the info, you gave her the keys? She unlocked the doors. Yeah, I, gave her I the did. keys to the city. I did. To the titties, to the kitty. I did. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, to so, the licky. To to it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, what else is too much info? Where would you Where would you go? Um. Ooh. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna say, don't downplay your ex. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't downplay your ex in our anywhere in our dating phase. Exactly. Because this This is what I be trying to get people to understand. Like, and this with me too. So I am not as anything that y'all ever hear me say. I am not excluded. I get this from either doing it before or experiencing it before or witnessing it before. So I am not excluded. Um, you know, what we entertain, sometimes we don't see that we attracted those people for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever is in you is in them too. And it was like a magnet that pulled you there. And I've, I've just been around so many people that complain about their partners and then continue to entertain them. I don't want to hear it because I also don't want to feel like you still kind of carrying that weight. So I think it depends on the tone that it's being said in too. Mm. Like, how heavy is it? Because I got a feeling I'm going to have to deal with some back and forth still when it comes to that ex. Or some comparisons. When something I do that, that might feel similar, mm-hmm. but it's not the same because you don't know how to separate the two. Mm-hmm. The intentions behind it. Okay. I mean, I, I'm going to give you the information, you know, mm. but I don't, I'm not, I don't think that it's going to be too much to use against me. Yeah, I gave her that key. Mm. She was a, she was a previous friend too, but I did give her that key. And it was, it wasn't even more so of the key that I gave her. It was more so of the person that she was. And I just found that out. It was just. She was just wasn't who I thought she was. So how did she start off and what did you find out that was opposite of how she started off? Well, definitely uh, bipolar. So, and <laughs> what? None. She was. And I found out after the fact. She hid. Yes. The fact that she was bipolar. Yes. What did she have it behind, Nelsia? Her niceness, her sweetness, her love, all of that. That femininity, boy, it like, disguises a lot. <laughs> her sex. She hid it. And when things got real, the real person came out, and it was a totally different person. But that blamed it on her background, her family, this, this, and that. But, 
Yeah, she she fooled me. This is the Taurus. Okay. <laughs> that's that's all I have. <laughs> that's Not all I have. What, what you gotta say? <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, oh, yeah, I do want to say this though. So after y'all have these long hour talks on the phone, right? How do you run out of conversation if if both of y'all got lives, mm-hmm. stuff happened on the daily? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we supposed to be constantly like, you know, diving into different shit to keep to keep growing. So how do you run out of, run out of conversations? How do you, a person becomes boring? That's what I was about to say. Get get bored. You get bored with them. I honestly. I don't think it's running out of conversation. I think it's just getting comfortable. Mm. I think it's oh. just setting that setting that tone at times where if you t- if you say it's okay that we sit in silence, at times we can get comfortable with that. Mm. The typical questions in the at the beginning of your your everyday conversation is how was your day? What you do today? Did you eat? These are questions that I asked every day to get us through. Yeah. But in that downtime, I you want to take I, deeper dives. I mean, I would in the in the moments, but yeah. those you don't gotta have those deep dives all the time. Say, no, you don't. No, but please don't. Yeah, let's let's let's. I, I enjoy the downtime. Please don't. Me too. I like just it, so. quiet mm-hmm. or y'all watching something together. together I feel yeah, like that's so underrated, G. Like I feel like we in those times where like everything moves so fucking fast and. We it, everything is just so co- convenient. We always feel like we got to be doing something every single time. I ain't gonna lie. I felt that pressure. I felt that pressure. Like, damn, how many times you okay? <laughs> For real, it's like that's deep. You don't know how to sit still. Yeah, you don't know how to enjoy just each other presence. Mm-hmm. I still move slow, G. I still slow down life, mm-hmm. and everybody's moving so fast. I don't have time for that. When you feel like, you know how much money, <laughs> when you feel like you got to be doing something all the time? I don't, I don't put myself in that. I don't feel like, I, you know, I might've been, been just, that might've just been in my head. I'm going to keep it a Nobody it ever said sometime. anything. Yeah, it probably, I think it was. Cause you know, you, you know how you are over and beyond. Mm. So mm. you're, you're doing certain things to please. You ain't never loved. You know, that'd be me. It'd be you. That'd be me feeling like you got to constantly keep a person entertained, interested, on fire for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I couldn't answer how it really gets boring though. I mean, besides, yeah, just getting complacent with what's going on anyway. Yeah. But just as long as you're happy with it, with the how that, how that's going on, then cool. If you've got any complaints, I literally just had this conversation with the person mm-hmm. and um she I was like, this is where we are. Yeah. Like you, you, you did set that tone and I don't mind it. I I appreciated that time. Yeah. You know? So it is what it is. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Damn, I had something right behind that, and this shit just it just left. It was a good ass question too. That's deep. Okay, so. Damn. And it was good. It was, it was, it was really good. <laughs> okay, so let me um reach for it like I do in them, them pauses and <laughs> <Gotcha. have> <laughs> so do you feel like people don't know how to have a downtime because they don't want you to see them? Mm. Like be think about it, right? talking all the time, moving all the time, y'all doing something all the time. It's just pure entertainment. Y'all got to speak off experience. I don't, I, I can't speak on that, Marquita. I really can't speak on that because that ain't the tone that I'm setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to yeah, do yeah. the simple things first. Yeah. Like, you know, like for real, like, like we got to keep it simple so I can know it's real. Yeah. And so you can know it's real. Yeah. 
So I, I, can't, I can't even speak, speak to that. But you answer your own question, though. Yes. Um, I always been a homebody for the most part, regardless of like how we kicked it when we was a little younger. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't have to do none of that shit. Mm-hmm. I don't have to do a lot of things. I feel like I'm lit. Okay. E- even in the house. <laughs> For real, you're okay. going to get good food, mm-hmm. good drink, good conversations. Mm-hmm. Even just being present is a present. Like, I worked on that shit. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know. So, you don't, do you feel like they, they don't want to show them their real selves in the downtime? I, I ain't going to even hold you, G. I feel like that be all in my head. But I feel like, because I do feel like certain women kind of gauge how they shit should look by shit that's happening online. Okay. Okay. And as much as I don't want that to be the case, because it's not the case on my end, it'd be something back there lingering like, I feel like that's the case. That they're looking at other couples' highlights and shit online and they want to model that yeah. in some shape or form. And I don't have the capacity to keep up with that shit because I got other shit moving. If I entertain your ass all day and we doing this and going somewhere all day, how the fuck I'm going to find time to make the money to do all of that shit mm-hmm. when we want to do it? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. So on your first date, where do you take them? I know we talked about... <laughs> no, nah, don't tell me the actual location, but like, is it somewhere mid? Yeah, is it somewhere... Kind of low-key low key things. Uh, okay. I took like... Now, museum. don't give me the locations. Yeah, like museum. Okay. okay. Uh, my nephew's softball game, lunch. You know, that type of shit. Okay. Simple things initially, break break the ice type type of thing. Not all the time, you know, because if they got a specific thing that they want to do for the first date, yeah. that's a definite option also. So, um, but my preference would be some low key, you know, okay. the art gallery. I love that type of stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, little little low key things. Come over, let's let's cook together type. Oh, they could come to the crib first date? No, ma'am, no, sir. <laughs> I mean, we've been talking. Okay, okay. He didn't already seen it on FaceTime. It ain't the scene. <laughs> so have anybody ever asked you a question on the first day that completely turned you off or said something in your conversation that let you know through the gate, this this ain't going to be, yeah. this, this there's no other day past this date. Like this is literally the last date. Yeah. Plenty. It's been a few of them. Don't ask me what. But yes, I could just say yes. We ain't going to tell y'all what because y'all going to try to avoid that shit knowing you want to <laughs> Let it happen naturally, organically, yeah. whatever the, the connection is going to be. So ask y'all stupid shit mm-hmm. and be okay with um <laughs> it not being okay. Look, though, what, what's your first day preference? Location? Whatever. Yeah. Now? At, the, at this space? At this space, yes. I ain't going to lie. I'll probably be trying to impress. <laughs> <laughs> you say ain't nothing changed. No, this <laughs> might change. This might change. The reason why I say it. That's be, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I like a vibe too. Mm-hmm. I like a vibe too. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to hold you. Mm-hmm. Like I, when I go through restaurants, I don't be thinking like, ooh, she going to like this. I be mm-hmm. thinking like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to like this. Let mm-hmm. me... I need to like it too. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes, yeah, I'm going to take you where you want to go and then I'm going to look at you like you're stupid, but I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm going to pay for it because some shit I just don't get, G. I ain't okay, going to hold you. I got you. I done spent $400 eating. Me me and her. Eating and drinking. Me and her, G. Me and her. I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> shit. You said hold on, <laughs> hold on, and I'm okay if it's if if it's a vibe. We enjoying ourselves. I don't even really think about that right. shit. But then I gotta ask your ass, what's the frequency? Mm-hmm. Because no, mm. 
you ain't finna look. We ain't been out in a while, G, and I'm looking at my whole reservation list like, what are you talking about? We, nigga, this money. <laughs> I hear you. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, but I do wanna, I wanna make sure that whatever tone I said, I'm able to be consistent in that, like through the gate. But like first day, I, I'm gonna say it like this: if we just let's say we haven't been having those long conversations on the phone, okay, just to link up, we could go to a little taco spot just yeah, to kick it. Yeah, it's Taco you know what I'm Tuesday. You gotta be able to go to a taco spot. I I do I. And I, I'm sorry that I repeat this throughout relationships, but I do. It's <laughs> consistent. <laughs> you consistent, I know. But I do cheap day che- Tuesdays, cheap mm-hmm. day Tuesdays, every other week. If we can. You more consistent than me. You're not, I mean. Okay. Yeah, but. Because I'm a cook. Day. Yeah, I, I I'm a set of vibe. See, I'm a ghetto month. cook. I'm a ghetto cook. See, my, my plate's not pretty. Man, not either. Your, pla- your place be pretty. They my probably got better, pretty. nigga, but that don't be my goal. My place not pretty. I can cook. I can cook. I can season. I can do all that. Mm-hmm. Because you know. I, I I like stuff like, G, like creating little vibes at the crib, like setting that motherfucker I know, up. I know. I'll clear out this area, G, and set up a dance floor, had a little lights right. and shit going right there. The, the igloo and shit. Yeah, I do like, you <laughs> stupid. I can set up. I want to be your mixologist, your cooking shit for the I like vibes. At the crib, and when we do step out, it had to be vibe. Mm-hmm. I got you. That's kind of like going to a hotel, G, and the shit look worse than your crib. What the <laughs> fuck you there for? <laughs> for real, though. I feel so, it. yeah, it has to be. Yeah, I don't mind. Like, I guess it depends. I got to be mindful of what she's into, too. Because I don't... Ooh. <laughs> do, do you like when you the first for something? I love Ooh. it. Ooh. I love Fresh meat. It. Give it to me. I love it. Yeah. And I love for, for that for my partner to be the first at something with me. Mm-hmm. Like if I haven't experienced something, I love for to, for her to be the first that I experienced it with. Yeah. Give her give her that too. You know, but yeah, that that's a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cause ain't no ain't gonna be nobody better. <laughs> Yo, I'm playing. Okay, I think I got a little got a little cocky this winter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love it though. You getting your mojo back? Yeah, it's better, better this time better. though. Better, yeah, it's better. It's yeah, because we grew up. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's gotta, crazy. What the shit we used to be on and where we at now, G? Sometimes I be forgetting mm-hmm. who that motherfucker was. That then your ass be like, you did <laughs> Right, don't be trying to I'll be like, I did? Yeah, put it all the way in the back. Like, I know you forget everything, but you're not going to forget yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. No, I need them. It's, it's humbling. And it's mm-hmm. also like, I think it's, it's beautiful to like look back on certain things and be like, damn. Because, yeah, you know, sometimes right. we hard on ourselves. But when you, that's when you should get, grant yourself permission to look back on stupid shit and be like, damn, I really came a long way. Not to stay complacent in where you at, but more mm-hmm. so to like give yourself enough credit to keep moving forward because you're doing better than what the fuck you think you is. So that's, that's it. That's that's my piece on this topic. What about you? That's all. I, I spoke mine. You want you want to end a question from one of our supporters, or you have one? I don't have one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I didn't prepare. I, okay. I said I'm. No. So Pia, um, untethered heart underscore three 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 said, "Have you all ever dealt with an overly affectionate individual? If so, did you find it aggravating?" Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Give me your loving. You want to take that? Absolutely irritating. The shit was crazy, man. No. Yo. <laughs> nah, but uh, it can be. It depends. It can be irritating. It really just depends on how the affection is being brought to you. Yeah. Now, if it's that clingy, oh my God, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> irritating. Now, if it's just the normal rub your back, always like rubbing a certain spot. Yeah. It's like a habit type of thing. I'm down with that. Yeah. But the thirsty, 
the thirsty attention? Absolutely not. It is irritating as ever. Mm. Um, I've never dealt with an overly affectionate. That's the question. Right? Oh, because <laughs> no, you know my ass. <laughs> Let me go back to it. Yeah, it was overly affectionate. Overly affectionate. Okay. I've never dealt with an overly affectionate person. I dealt with an overly sexual person. Um, I I would... Okay, you have to ease me into that level of affection because I'm not used to it. I didn't grow up with it. Um, I've dealt with women that was more of the receivers than the givers of it. Um... Yeah, you just have to ease me into it because it's not really that familiar. I'm not that familiar with it. So you're not familiar with giving the affection either? Are you a very I feel, affectionate I person? I feel like I'm I'm I be my my woman's biggest motherfucking fan. Like you're going to know I'm sexually attracted to you. We don't have to have sex all the time. So I I might like tap you on the booty, kiss you on the neck, mm-hmm. give you some Mm, smooches and shit mm-hmm. all the time. I'm not overly affectionate because, again, I'm still learning mm-hmm. how to maneuver in these spaces like that. You know what I mean? But, and I also just like she asked, like, is it aggravating? I don't like to be aggravating. Yeah. I don't like to overdo a lot of shit. So, but what's overdoing? Besides, I don't know. Besides a thirst. Uh, if it or- doesn't feel organic, you feel like you're just doing it, like you put it on a schedule. <laughs> Let me schedule in this affection. <laughs> I feel like I've been depriving her. If it doesn't feel organic and it I mean, feel forced, I, you would keep it. I enjoy it because I could get used to it. If you, if I'm dealing with somebody, I dealt with someone who always just rubbed my back when we were sitting, wherever we were sitting, she would come. And if it didn't happen, Man. I wonder where was it at? I love it. Hair rubs, back rubs. Yeah. I, I liked want, when you know? Fallon used to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, just randomly started, like, rubbing my back, like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I needed that. You're stupid. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You rub my head? hmm What? Cold fingers? Locks? Get through, get, go through to the scalp, what? baby. You been mouth wide a long ass mm-hmm. day? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Splash. Let's splash. Shout out to Nicki Minaj for the drink. This yeah, this is this not the This not the flavor we drinking. I'll be mm-hmm. pouring something different this, in the this, cups. This, <laughs> So we could be smooth. It's the pineapple flavor. But shout out to Nicki Minaj. I found out she's the owner of that 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 wine, that double XL wine. That's deep. Yeah. Good job, Nikki. And we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, we appreciate the energy exchange. Leave y'all comments. What are y'all know those when it comes to the first date? Like, what is too much information for y'all? Drop that in the comments. Let us know. We want to be in y'all world too. We letting y'all in our world. Let this be a real energy exchange. Appreciate y'all though. And if you want to see us elevate, donate. Donations, donations. So we can celebrate. For sure. Life. Yeah, you ain't got shit to say? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Shellis Field. Uh. Uh. Welcome. Welcome to the Shellis Fear, lend us your ear and take a listen Whether you in the whip, in the bed, or in the kitchen Ease into our conversation and babble higher dimensions As we tell you our position and show you that we're no different than you Cause we all connected When it comes to life and love, we all been affected We all need some correcting no matter how you dress it So turn your TVs and your volumes up and listen to the Shellis perspective Welcome to the Shellis Fear there's a lot of love in here You vapping in a different atmosphere Welcome to the Shattersphere Where we live, laugh, and learn And you the light from the bridges that burn Welcome to the Shattersphere There's a lot of love in here You vapping in a different atmosphere Welcome to the Shattersphere Where we live, laugh, and learn And you the light from the bridges that burn Just Free Zone!